The Yushin Little Magic is a budget speed cube made by popular cube manufacturer Yushin. It is often recommended as the best budget speed cube for people wanting to just get into cubing. However, I disagree. Here's why. My main reason that I dislike the Yushin Little Magic is because once the factory lube dries out, it's very slow and sluggish. Most speed cubes, the major exception being the Maylong series, come pre-lubricated out of the box. This means that as soon as you take the cube out of the box, you can start using it, potentially even at a competition. Out of the box, the Yushin Little Magic comes pre-lubricated very well, and it's very enjoyable to turn. However, I do think the tensions are too loose. That could just be my personal preference, though. The problem comes when the factory lube dries out. Once the lube dries out of this Yushin Little Magic, as I've tried to emulate it here by taking out the lube, but I think there might still be some lube in the tracks, it becomes quite slow and quite difficult to turn, especially if you're a more aggressive turner, like my brother. You want to come and demonstrate? Okay, I'm a very aggressive turner, as you say. I mean, I don't... Just come in front of the camera. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate using the tracks. Ah, too many lockups. This is terrible. And it keeps doing corner twists. At its stock, loose tensions, and with quite a grippy internals, which means it's quite slow, especially for an aggressive turner, it can be quite disappointing to use and maybe even trigger someone to quit cubing, which we definitely don't want. So if I don't recommend the Yushin Little Magic as a beginner speed cube, who do I recommend it for? Well, I do like the Yushin Little Magic myself. Something I really like about it is its hackable design. By hackable, I mean that you can easily take it apart without harming the cube. For example, these edge pieces here, I can just take it apart just like that. Here I've got a torpedo, here I've got two edge pieces that could be easily magnetized or modified, and I really like the simple design which allows me to do things with the cube. Also take a look at the corner here, it can easily be divided into three sections. If you wanted to say swap the color scheme, which I have done before, there's, you've got the corner stalk here, it's quite easy to take apart. The center caps especially are ridiculously easy to take apart, take off. And the centers have a very simplistic design. So I do like the Yushin Little Magic, don't get me wrong. And I think if you had the capacity to lubricate it and tension it, and possibly magnetize it as well, it could be a great speed cube, as evidenced by these videos here. However, for a beginner who's probably not going to want to magnetize it or lubricate it or tension it themselves, I think it's not a good speed cube. And I instead definitely recommend the Chi MS for beginners. It is magnetic, which means it's a bit more expensive than the Yushin Little Magic. But since you're probably going to upgrade to a magnetic speed cube anyway, I think just save the money and get it in the beginning. So there you go. That is my opinion on the Yushin Little Magic and why I don't recommend it for beginners, despite loving it as a cube. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.